Uber taxis, a familiar sight on the streets of Paris. The company says it has one million registered users in France, but it hasn't been all smooth sailing for the ride-sharing app. Its low-cost Uber Pop, which employed unlicensed drivers, ran afoul of French regulators. In September, France's constitutional court upheld a ban on Uber Pop, citing the country's transportation law, which held carpooling as legal while operating a ride-sharing service with unlicensed drivers for profit is not. Still, UberX, the company's high-end service, continues to operate. And Paris taxi companies say since ride-sharing apps have gained in popularity, their business has plummeted by 20 to 30 percent. Add to that the cost of obtaining a taxi license, which runs 200 to 250,000 euros, and many taxi drivers say they're worried about their future. Critics of the system say taxi drivers in France have had a near-market monopoly, and there's more than enough room for both. Ride-sharing app Heach works by operating only at night, targeting those going out. About 80 percent of 18 to 25-year-olds that go out for the evening go out between 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. At the moment, there's a lack of options at night. We're a company which creates mobility for these people who've never used this solution before. 80 percent of passengers said they've never used a taxi. Uber announced last week that it wants to open its platform up to taxi drivers. The move comes after France's constitutional court ruled taxi drivers could also work as private hire cars.